Hi, and welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Larnaca, Cyprus. Larnaca, also called Larnaca, is one of the premier seaside resorts in Cyprus. For most visitors, the main tourist attractions here all revolve around the sun, sea, and sand, with the beaches of both the town itself and farther east down the coast surrounding Aegean Napa within easy reach. Larnaca is an easygoing place with a distinctive, laid-back vibe that sets it apart from the bustling centers of Paphos and Lamassal. Better yet, it's also in a prime position for forays inland to the quaint villages and places to visit of the Maharas Forest region. In addition, we have another special tip in the description, more about this later. Let's get started! Number 10. The Aja Napa Bay Beaches Cyprus' most famous beaches are all in the southeast of the island around the town of Aja Napa, 45 kilometers east of Larnaca. Top of the tourist attractions is Nisi Beach, a long stretch of perfectly white sand with an island rock outcrop just offshore that's on the western side of Aja Napa town. This is also an excellent destination for capturing pictures of Cyprus. Be aware that Nisi's beauty means that it can get heavily crowded in summer. If you're trying to escape the crowds, head to Kermia Beach, two kilometers east of Aja Napa, which is smaller but just as pretty, or head to Kanas Beach, two kilometers east of Kermia Beach, which is a great choice for families with kids who want to get into the water. Number 9. The Agios Lazoros According to local lore, after Lazarus rose from the dead, he lived here in Larnaca, then known as Kishin, for another 30 years and was ordained as Bishop of Kishin. When he finally died, this time for good, he was buried here, where the stately Agios Lazoros, Church of Street Lazarus, now stands. The church was built in the 9th century by Emperor Leo VI and was faithfully restored in the 17th century. The church has four domes over the nave, and the roof is supported by four sets of double columns. The pulpit is uniquely placed in one of these columns and is lavishly decorated in gilt. In another column is a silver icon from 1659 with a picture of Street Lazarus. Check out the incredibly ornate iconostasis for an excellent example of Baroque wood carving. Number 8. Dive the Zenobia Wreck The Zenobia Wreck is Cyprus' major tourist attraction for scuba divers. In 1980, this Swedish cargo ship capsized just outside Larnaca Bay. The ship, with its cargo of tractor trailers, which is said to have been a cargo loss of around 200 million US dollars, has since become one of the world's top wreck dive sites. The wreck provides dive explorations for all levels of divers, with newly paddy qualified divers able to dive down to the starboard side of the ship, while more experienced divers can dive lower, down to the car decks, and enter the innards of the ship. All dive companies in town offer Zenobia trips, as well as dive companies in Paphos and other Cypriot resort towns. Number 7. Larnaca's Beaches Larnaca's beaches are packed from about May to September, when locals and tourists alike flock to the water to cool off. Finnecoud's Beach is strewn out along the main promenade and, although conveniently located, is rather uninspiring and is a bit of a sardine squeeze in the peak holiday season. Mackenzie Beach, two kilometers south of the center, is much nicer and generally has more room to throw down your towel. If you got your transport though, it's much better to head slightly south to Cape Kitty Beach, 15 kilometers south of Larnaca, or Paravolia Beach, one kilometer south of Cape Kitty Beach, which rarely attract more than a handful of sunbathers and are gorgeously situated in secluded cubs. Number 6. Museum of Underwater Sculpture Museum of Underwater Sculpture Aegenapa is one of the newest tourist attractions in Cyprus. This unique project, the first in the world, combines an underwater sculpture park and a reef reforestation project stretching across 175 meters in Aegenapa's marine protected zone. The 93 seabed sculptures have been designed by eco-artist Jason D. Cares Taylor as an underwater forest to attract marine life while also creating a fairy tale underwater world for both snorkelers and divers to explore. Number 5. Visit Larnaca Fort Right on the edge of Larnaca's seaside promenade, this Ottoman-era fort, built in 1625, was used as the Ottomans' main line of defense for the city. 
It stands on the site of a much earlier medieval fort of which nothing remains. During the British colonial period, the fort was turned into a prison. Today, it's home to Larnaca's small medieval museum and displays a small collection of weaponry, as well as some great black and white photographs of the local area. Climbing up onto the ramparts offers good views across the Mediterranean Sea. Across the road is Larnaca's Grand Mosque, which was once the Holy Cross Latin Church and dates from the 16th century. Number 4. Hala Sultan Tech Number 1 on the Things to Do list for those seeking some nature just outside Larnaca City is the serenely beautiful Hala Sultan Tech. This mosque and shrine sit on the western side of Larnaca Salt Lake, 3 kilometers west of central Larnaca, an important place of pilgrimage for Muslims. This mosque honors the Prophet Muhammad's wet nurse, Um Haram, who is said to have died at this site after falling from her donkey, and a shrine was dedicated over her tomb in 645 CE. The present mosque building was built by the Ottomans and dates to 1816. Number 3. Stavrovani Monastery About 40 kilometers west of Larnaca, atop a jagged cliff top, Stavrovani Monastery sits in splendid isolation, commanding superb panoramic views across the surrounding countryside. This area has long played a role in local religious rites. During Cyprus period under Greco-Roman control, the summit here held a temple honoring the goddess Aphrodite. In 327 CE, Empress Alina, mother to Emperor Constantine, sponsored the building of this monastery to take the place of the temple and left a fragment of the Holy Cross in the monastery monk's possession. Number 2. Lanes of Lefkara the villages surrounding Larnaca are some of the best places to visit if you want to get a feel for traditional Cypriot life. Famous for its lace production, the village of Lefkara, west of Larnaca, is a delightful place to explore. Full of wonderfully preserved mansion architecture, quaint cafes, and a bundle of lace shops where local women sit in the sun outside creating new lace pieces for sale. Lefkara Lace gets its fame from the local story that Leonardo da Vinci bought a piece of lace here in 1481 to be used as an altar cloth in Milan's cathedral. When you finish shopping, the winding alleys lead you to the Lefkara Local Museum, which contains dioramas of traditional local life and is brimming with information on the village's history. Number 1. Cyprus – Trudeau's Mountain Food and Wine Tasting Tour with Lunch Cyprus is a culinary country and our absolute number one is to enjoy the fantastic wines and products this country has to offer. You can book tickets via the link in the description. We recommend that you do this on time because tickets are quickly fully booked. Spend the day in the Trudos Mountains meeting the locals, discovering traditional Cypriot products, and stopping at a family winery. A guide will pick you up from a location of your choice and you will be driven through carefully selected villages to visit the locals who make traditional products and taste Cypriot delicacies. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.